On today's episode of Homeworthy, we're visiting Leslie Jenkins, owner of Jenkins Interiors in Fort Worth, Texas. Her happy home is full of whimsy wallpaper, punchy paint colors, and layers and layers of pattern. And wait until you see her Tiffany blue bar area that is just perfection. Enjoy! You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Leslie. Welcome to my Fort Worth home. My name is Leslie Jenkins, and I'm an interior designer in Dallas, Texas. I, my home is in Fort Worth, which is where we are today. So my husband and I decided to locate ourselves in Fort Worth a couple of years ago, and um, this was one of the first homes that we looked at, and I knew the minute I saw it that it was exactly what I wanted as far as um, an older home with lots of potential that had been extremely well preser preserved by the previous owners. Um, it was a very large project, and we basically gutted it, minus a few rooms where the walls did remain the same, but overall, um, we added, we moved the staircase, moved the kitchen, the dining room, added a, um, an attached garage, and then turned the original garage into a pool room, which we love because it looks out over the backyard and you can really see at every angle all of the work that we um, did throughout the project. So we're in the entry and um, this was one of the biggest challenges of our remodel. We le relocated the stairs. You used to walk right into it and I wanted this um, nice open entry. So we moved it over and um, added this large cased opening and then as well we added the bar at the end of the hall. So this is one of the only areas in the home that does not have wallpaper, which was a challenge for me not to use it because I, I love it and I want to use it everywhere. It was just difficult because it's hard to find a stopping point going up the stairs. So I used just a very nice cream that would allow me to pull in some other fabrics and there is my favorite piece of art which is here in the entry and I wanted to really feature that. This is my favorite piece of art in the home. It's by Otis Huben. I um, purchased it at our last home and had the perfect spot for it there, so I was thrilled when it worked out here and I could have it right when you walk in. So I love our powder room. It was another challenge because it was going to be extremely small, but I actually love the charm of that. Um, there is a really special little hiding place back here that's quite important. So this area was partially a pantry and their um, formal powder. And I wanted to turn it into an area that was really beautiful as you see it right when you walk in the front door since we expanded this opening. I had this piece custom made um, for the space and um, it was one of, one of the items that definitely was a labor of love. It took quite a long time to have it um, made and painted the way that I wanted it to. But it has really some really beautiful features as well as even inside the cabinet. It's very custom. The home was one of those that you drive up and it had that father of the bride curb appeal and it's what drew me in right away. And when I came inside I was amazed at how well preserved it was. The original owners had kept everything just pristine and had not done anything that was um, out of, in, not in keeping with the architecture of the home. It just really seemed like a fun project for me because it was, the bones were amazing. And while it was a big challenge trying to figure out how to relocate the different rooms, especially the staircase and um, how all of those rooms could work together, it, it ended up working out beautifully. The climate of the industry while we did this remodel was extremely difficult as anyone knows that ha has gone through this in the past two years 
And um, I'm not saying I wouldn't ever do it again, but I can't imagine ever doing it again at this point. We're so thankful and happy to be settled and um, have almost all of the final touches completed. I would absolutely call this a labor of love. So this is the great room. And I love this space because I love the shape of the room. It allowed me to, to, to do two different seating groups, which um, we really enjoy because it makes it, they're a little bit smaller and more intimate. I wanted this space to be a room that my husband and I would enjoy just the two of us, but then we could also entertain and our whole family could sit in here. Um, so the layout of it worked really well and a lot of that had to do with the shape of the room. This little area right here is where my husband and I spend a lot of our time. We um, love this little cozy area to just sit in the evenings. And when we have family, we're huge game players. So I have this um, game table and chairs and we spend a lot of time here when our boys are in town. Um, we play games and we also end up eating dinner in here a lot. This is a fixture that I found in Palm Beach right at the start of our home um, remodel. And I walked into this um, antique store and they had it hanging there and I thought, I have to have it. I hope I can make it work. And it ended up being the perfect piece for in here. So one of my favorite things that I was able to design um, for the house was this mantle. It is a plaster mantle. And um, one of the beautiful things about plaster is the material is non-combustible, so you don't have to worry about having a large surround. And um, it also allows you to do very intricate designs like these little flowers with the trellis work. So we just, I love the way that it turned out. I wanted to use a lot of different textures, patterns, and colors in this room, but also make it look cohesive. I selected this plaid wallpaper that was just this really pretty foundation for art as well as a foundation for the fabrics that we have in the room. There's, there's a mixture and one of the most important things that I feel like you need to take into consideration when selecting fabrics when there are, when there are patterns is considering the scale and making sure that the scales are all compatible. Um, and then I always love to have some chenilles and some velvets in the room that really make it cozy. This is a French goatskin coffee table. Um, it is from Paris. And one of the really interesting things about these tables, they open up and this one is mirrored on the inside so you can put bottles of wine if you're entertaining um, or you can just store things in it. This piece is one I purchased for our um, last home. We had a, an extremely large dining room and um, I needed a piece that could fill up, that, fill up one of the walls and accommodate a lot of our china, which I love to collect as well. Um, I really wanted to make sure that I could use this piece. It was one of the more important ones that we were moving from the other home. And this wall, I was so excited that this particular space between the stairs it fit perfectly. The home is a very classic style and we really tried to stay in keeping with that during the whole process of the design um, for the remodel. So it, it basically has the same feel, just some updates and um, that we feel like the layout is much more conducive to our family. Our previous home, which was absolutely lovely, it was in Tyler, Texas, and it was a um, very much an entertaining home. It had large formals, a very large formal dining, very large formal living area, and an extremely large kitchen. And we loved it, we entertained a lot, and we used those spaces, but not near as much as I would have liked to, other than the kitchen. That was obviously very utilized. So when in designing and, and making the, the layout and the plan of this home, I really wanted it all spaces to be used all the time. I didn't really want a formal living room per se, and I didn't want a um, dining room that was remote and something that we didn't use regularly. So this is our dining room. 
And I love that it's located in the middle of the home. It's really easy to access it from all the different rooms. We have a um, butler bar on one side and then the kitchen's on the other side. I love the size because we like to not only entertain intimate dinner parties, but we also like to have a lot of people over at one time, especially when it's family. So this room allows me to have many leaves in this table, which, which I do have. Um, another thing that I love is the wallpaper. This was, um, this paper, because of the size of the mural, I honestly didn't even know exactly what it was going to look like because I just had one section of it. And um, I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I, I love the movement of it and um, how it ended up working with all the different openings of the home. So one of my favorite things to collect is art. And um, the home that I keep mentioning that we lived in before had a lot of, um, a lot of vast walls and as well as very um, high ceilings. So I was concerned when we were moving in here because I had a lot of pieces of art that we had acquired and I really loved them and wanted to make sure that we could incorporate them and every single piece found a home. A couple of my favorites are here in the dining room. One is a piece that I bought in Paris um, on my travels a number of years ago and actually didn't have a great place in our last home, so I love that it's over the fireplace. I also did this mirror um, behind it so that it wouldn't get lost in the wallpaper. On this side, I have one. This is an artist by named Kate Rivers, and um, it, she does these fabulous nests that are multimedia. There are a lot of things that she has collected, and then she incorporates them into this beautiful bird's nest. And this is the one that I was really concerned about having a place for, and I love it because I feel like it almost looks as, like it's a part of the mural. I really wanted to use fabrics that I hadn't used on any other project and um, I was excited about using real saturated colors and a lot of pattern and as you can see walking through the home wallpaper in majority of the rooms so I loved that layering and the texture and um, hopefully a very timeless look. Okay, we're walking from the dining room into the bar butler. This space was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to buy the home. It was um, added by the previous owners and I thought they did a beautiful job of, of designing it and making it extremely functional yet lovely right off of the dining room. It um, had a completely different palette. It was cream and um, different stone and the, the mirror situation was different, but it was really easy and fun to work with and we use it a lot. This color choice was different from what I would typically select. I um, had a number of different blues that I was considering and this was actually a lot stronger than what I expected and once we did the whole room, we loved it. So this is our butler. Um, we had this, I, I had this at our last home, but he was tucked away in the corner of the dining room and I really wanted him to be where he showed off. And when we moved in here, I was walking around trying to figure out the best space and I thought, oh my gosh, it's perfect. He's in the butler bar. Um, and I will say, the first week any family members that walked in literally turned and screamed because they thought a man was in the window. He is made out of white terracotta. I purchased this in Paris from a French artist that does these fabulous animal busts as well as the full body. I'd like to think I have a very curated and timeless style. I love to travel and um, collect things um, in my travels and um, or even just when I'm out antiquing and I've done that for many many years so I, I love having things that you may have no idea when or where I would have purchased that. So the house originally stopped right here this was a window and when we decided we wanted to add 
an attached garage. We realized this was the best um, place to do it as far as transitioning and getting into the home. So this is the mudroom. You enter the house from the garage, just right around the corner, and then I have what I like to call my friend door. Um, it's right off of the driveway. There's a pathway up that leads to the door, and um, I think it's very charming and um, inviting. So we're in the kitchen, obviously. This was the dining room um, before we remodeled. I, I mentioned this earlier, but I love the size of the kitchen because it is, um, it's not vast and expansive. It's very intimate and I feel like it's ended up being a real charming space. I, um, it allowed me because of the size of it to wallpaper every single wall and I absolutely love it. Um, we added windows here. We added a door over here to access our front patio. So I love having this breakfast nook right here off of the kitchen. We use this space all the time. Every night when we're eating dinner, we just move right from the kitchen over here. So we've ended up really enjoying it. So I did a banquet, a very long banquet, obviously, because I wanted our family to be able to come in and everybody pile in on the banquet, especially the dogs. And um, our first real evening here where we were cooking and the dogs were here i looked over and they both were sitting here staring at me and i thought perfect it's just what it was intended for so this is actually one of my new purchases i have been looking at this piece of art for a few years because the first time i looked at it made me laugh so hard and um i was so excited when i had the perfect spot for it in the kitchen and my hope was it would make other people laugh when they came in and looked at it and it works. The range was really what started the palette for my kitchen. I had a La Cornu in my last home in the um, classic black. Absolutely loved how it performed and knew I wanted to have one again, um, but I wanted one of the fun colors that they make now. So that was where we started, which then led to the tile, which I have um, in the backsplash as well as on the other side, on the wet bar and on the back of the island. So the stone is a quartzite, um, which is a much more durable stone. And um, I did it in a honed versus the polished. And what I do love about it is there is a little bit of a warm gray in the tile and I feel like it picks that up so the palette's really nice mixed together. Um, another thing that I love that we had in our last house, it's a coffee system. We are big coffee drinkers. And um, one of the things I love about this space is we get our coffee in the morning and we'd love to come out here and sit and enjoy it. Or at least I should say once it's not so hot out. So we're in the master bedroom. This fabric is the window treatment fabric in the bed skirt. That's really what um, drove the palette in this room. I love this fab fabric for years. Um, actually had it put in a pile for one day when I redid my master bedroom and was able to use it here and absolutely love it. Um, we did a, I did a cornice with a brush fringe in the panels and then um, pulled that into the bed skirt. The, the bedding is all leotine linens and they did a beautiful job with the monogramming. So this is what I call the grandkids room. And the funny part is we do not have grandkids and nobody is dating anyone, but I'm in hopes that one day it will be filled up. And it was just a really fun room to design because I got to incorporate some fun things that like the bug, the Pierre Frey bug um, fabric, and as well as the, the bathroom. We put the same wallpaper in here and did the, the floor to be kind of fun and playful. So this is our pool room. As you can see, it's right off of the patio, the covered patio in the pool. It was originally the garage in the driveway cut through the backyard. Um, this is my husband's favorite room. He loves to sit in here and 
look out and think about what the house looked like before and how it's been transformed. So this chandelier is another piece that I found in Palm Beach. It is um, from a place called Circa Who, and they're all handmade. Uh, this We chose this one because of the two monkeys. We spend a lot of time outside entertaining and I really wanted rooms that could access the backyard. And this one, as you can see, we have the three French doors that you can open up. This is our covered patio, which we spend a lot of time on and we really will once the weather cools off a little bit. It's right off of our um, dining area out over here to the other side. Uh, this originally was the um, garage, so it was actually the driveway. And um, we wanted this, I wanted this to be a very charming area that accommodated this amount of seating. And then we added the swings to make it just more fun. Um, and this, the, the fun detail on the columns in the corner. And then of course the gas lantern, which I think always warms up the space. This is our front patio area right off the kitchen that we use a lot um, in the mornings and in the evenings. Originally, the house just had a little gabled roof right over the front door. So we extended and had this shed roof created in order to um, capture this whole area. So we now have this patio, which is really a fun little extra um, space to entertain. Home to me is a place that I walk in and, I, and immediately I feel comfortable. My surroundings are extremely important to me as it is to most people and especially an interior designer. Home is also a place that my family can come and we can all hang out and we can all um, enjoy being together and that there's going to be memories created. Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.